So I recently had a chance to get my hands on a QNAP a TS-563 NAS that supports 10 gigabit networking and SSD caching. Uh, it is a 5-bay NAS with, from QNAP. Most of them are either 2, 4, 6, 8, you know, increments of 2. This one's a 5, which is a little bit unusual. Uh, but it's a nice combo if you have four discs plus an SSD, works really good. Uh, you need to supply your own 10 gig card. It's highly recommended you buy one from QNAP. Uh, they sell sell ones. It, it's kind of interesting, like the way the card that they sell, it's kind of flipped over. It's, it's confusing as heck. It looks like it, the connector's on the wrong side, but it has to do with the cooling. Uh, most 10 gig cards require active cooling and there is no active cooling in the case for the PCI card, only for the hard drives. So you gotta be careful with that. I tried fitting in an aftermarket. It is possible, but I was concerned about the longevity, so I didn't go with it. Anyways, uh, please uh, check out, I got some photos and some video here of the TS-563. It's a really neat little NAS featuring an AMD processor. So here you got the exterior of the box, the inside of the box the plastic wrapped unit, the unit itself with its five bays, the five bays removed, the back here, we got two gigabit ethernet, four USB three, a PCI slot um, with a fairly low height tolerance. You got some RAM here, we're gonna put that in. We got Samsung solid state, we're gonna use that as our cache drive in the tray there. We got four Iron Wolf NAS drive, six terabyte units. We're gonna put those in those slides and slide them in. Uh, you got here a little sound test, so you can kind of hear like a kind of scratchy sound. Uh, these drives are a little bit noisier than some of your desktop variant drives, uh, and you're going to, you might not want to have this by your bedside table, but it's not really that loud. Uh, just recorded this with my cell phone, obviously, here by the little bit potato quality. Yeah, these are 7200 RPM drives, so they are a bit louder. So there you have it. That's a very basic overview of the TS-563 from QNAP. Um, now, talk a little bit about performance. Uh, the unit performs really well uh, for business. I would not say this is going to be the highest performant unit if this is your home network and you're trying to move one file really fast, this NAS is going to perform the best when you're doing things like maybe some iSCSI for some fat storage for um, like a, a server or, or additional storage for a workstation. It could be good to uh, offload video footage onto if you're an aspiring YouTube star. <laughs> that's not what I'm using it for. Um, you can run virtual machines off of it, uh, use it as shared storage between different servers. Now that might be, that's a very businessy kind of thing. You're not going to do that at home unless you're running a home lab and you have a fairly decent budget because this is not a cheap NAS. This is going to be a different amount of dollars depending where you are in the world. Up here in Canada, the price is about 30% higher than the U.S. So, uh, you know, check the interwebs for current pricing. This stuff changes. There's no real downside on a unit like this to having an AMD processor. It This isn't a power hungry processor like some stuff. And, you know, today with Ryzen and stuff around literally the corner here, like in a couple of days, that's coming out. Uh, depending on when I put this video on YouTube, <laughs> it might already be out. Um, anyways, I saw really good performance on this unit. Uh, it, it, very reflective of the hard drives put in there. The Seagate Iron Wolf 6 terabyte drives have really good read and write speeds on them. They're really good NAS drives. I would recommend them over the WD Reds for this reason, 7200 RPM. They're not quiet, but they are very performant. Good 24-7 operation drives. Anyways, that's my recommendation. That's what I say they're good for. Good use for them. 
and oh I should also mention the cash drive and eh, take it or leave it if you need the extra drive bay throw a hard drive in there perform it one you're gonna see pretty similar performance with virtual machines you start to see a bit more benefit uh, because you lower down the write latency with the caching potentially not all the time not all scenarios but it does help anyways uh, check the channel out uh, gonna have more videos coming to do with Seagate Ironwolf drives to do with this NAS uh, I'm gonna show you guys in a video coming up how to put in the RAM memory in there it's not that tricky guys check it out